Hey everyone, my name is Dominic DeRose and I'm the product manager of the catalog creation team here at Ops Level. And today I'm excited to be showing off a new suite of features we're naming the Catalog Engine. The Catalog Engine is what allows Ops Level to be the fastest, easiest, and most flexible way of setting up and maintaining your internal developer portal. And the key to a useful and valuable internal developer portal is a complete and accurate catalog. But historically, getting to that point has been a very difficult and tedious task. So that's where the Catalog Engine comes into play. The catalog engine ingests information from the wide variety of integrations you can set up in ops level and automatically determines what is and isn't a service. It also groups data from different integrations together to make it easier for you to determine what to add to your catalog. Adding integrations in ops level is easy. Just visit our integrations page, find the tool you wish to integrate with, and follow the steps outlined there. For today's demo, I'm going to start off with an account that I have some integrations already set up on. On this account, I've already integrated with GitHub, PagerDuty, Datadog, CircleCI, as well as a few other integrations, and the catalog engine has already been hard at work detecting my services and any extra data I should attach to those services. The catalog engine continuously and automatically detects and suggests services you should either register or merge data into from all the various integrations we support. It introspects those integrations and determines what is an actual service to give you accurate recommendations. This helps ensure that as new services are being created across your organization or new tools are being onboarded, Ops Level continues to reflect those changes and continues to keep your catalog fresh. So as you can see on this page, I already have a bunch of recommendations for me to action on. Some are to create new services like this one here, and some are to merge more data into existing services because we were able to match some of the metadata we received from integrations to a service that already exists in ops level. For example, here we have a recommendation to merge data into the shopping cart service. We already have a shopping cart service in ops level, but we've detected more data from Sneak, Datadog, and PageDuty that has metadata closely resembling the shopping cart service, so the catalog engine suggests you should merge that data into it. You don't have to. These recommendations are very flexible and customizable so you can modify them how you like before actioning them. And to learn more about the data that was detected, you can expand each of these suggestions to learn more about what that data looks like. Here you can see we found some Datadog monitors, a PagerDuty service, some sneak check result data, and some deploys. And if you don't think this data should be merged into an existing service and would like to create a new one, you can also do that from this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge the data into the existing shopping cart service and navigate over to it. And as you can see, the service now has all that data attached to it. You have deploys, your alert sources, such as PagerDuty services and Datadog monitors. We've pulled your API docs, your tech docs, and check results as well, as easy as that. And as more data gets sent into ops level, the catalog engine will automatically attach it to this service or recommend attaching manually if it doesn't exactly match this service. And now if you want to lock this service down using config as code, you can easily do that as well by downloading our opsible.yaml file and committing it to your repository. But let's take a look at another example. I'm navigating back to the detected services page and I still have a bunch of recommendations, but let's focus in on this one that recommends I create a new service called Galactus. The catalog engine detected data from GitHub, Datadog, PagerDuty, Octopus Deploy, and Sneak and grouped it all together because it believes that all of it should belong to one new service. We also received metadata from these integrations that don't match together 100%, but are close enough for the catalog engine to assume that they should be registered as one service. If you believe these groupings are incorrect, you can manually split them up and perform separate actions against each one. But the catalog engine aims to make finding related data easier for you. But I as an admin don't always know if this should be a service or if the data should be split up differently. And that's where the catalog engine comes to the rescue again, because on top of detecting services, it also recommends owners for those services based on who contributed to them the most. In this case, we see that the order management team is the recommended owner because Tyrone contributed to it five times and he's on the order management team. But you can still set a different owner if you'd like. The beauty of detecting owners on top of detected services is that you can now leverage your entire organization to help onboard the catalog, which significantly speeds up the process and improves the accuracy. And once you're ready to roll out the catalog, you can enable notifications that will email teams that we've detected services we think they should own. I'll go ahead and enable these notifications now and I'll show a quick example of what they look like. And when users come to Ops Level for the first time or any time after that, if we have any recommendations for their teams, they don't have to navigate around. They can easily see what actions they need to take from our new detected services drawer, which you can see right here. In this case, I just remembered, I actually am on the order management team and I have six recommendations to action. For now, we show you the top three based on the number of sources the catalog engine detected the recommendations from, but as you accept them, more will keep popping up. And finally, if you get a recommendation, but you're not the owner of that service, you can easily recommend a team if you know who it is. 
And if you really want to play around and edit the recommendations before you accept them, you can do that as well from a filtered down view of recommendations. You can also send recommendations to specific teams by setting an owner from the detected services page and members of that team will see the recommendation in their drawer to action on. On top of all these features to help onboard your catalog, we also want to provide more context into what each service does. So with the power of AI, we can infer what your service does and provide an AI generated description. This is an opt-in feature that has already been helping ops level customers gain more context into their catalog. So that's a quick demo of our catalog engine. This entire suite of features allows you to quickly and accurately set up your internal developer portal by continuously and automatically detecting services and making recommendations based on that data and federating those recommendations out to your organization. We pride ourselves on being the fastest, easiest, and most flexible way of setting up and maintaining your internal developer portal, and we're excited for everyone to try it out. We're continuously making improvements to the engine and our entire suite of features, and we're always looking for feedback. So if you have any, make sure to reach out to us, and thanks for watching.